Hey guys, hope you're doing good. I am Nivya and today I'm going to review the book The Rudest Book Ever by Shweta Gangwar. For all of you who already know who Shweta was well and fine, but for the people who do not know him, he's a very famous YouTuber with a channel named Men Sutra and by profession he's a problem solver. I listened to this book via Audible and in fact I would urge you all to listen to this book via Audible itself. Why? Because in Audible the author himself has narrated the book. For all the people who are not aware of what Audible is, I'll share the link in the description box of the video which I have made sometime before and I hope that will help you to understand about it better. Alright, now let's get into the book. The gist of the book is to know yourself by doing the right things that will satisfy you in the right manner and also making sure that you know how to think so that you don't have to lend your brain to someone to get it brainwashed. I loved a lot of things in this book while I just disliked one thing in this book. So let's cover all the things that I liked first and then in the end I'll just mention the point which I disliked because that's just one point. Firstly, the author has been able to do complete justice to the title of the book, the rudest book ever. Why? Because he has not sugarcoated any single line in this book. In fact, he lets you rethink about a lot of concepts that have been fed into your brain or even taught at a very young age. For example, having a role model or tagging someone as a hero or even following them for that matter. Like a question that we often hear in the interviews even now is, who is your role model? So prior to that, you need to think, do you need a role model? If so, why do you need a role model? So all these questions are important. Just, you know, having a role model is not a thing. And in fact, the book clearly states that you do not need a role model. And I truly enjoy the way he has written as to why we do not need a role model. All right, now coming to the second point, the book is very simple in terms of language. And hence, the book is very apt for the beginners who want to start reading non-fictional books. I would in fact urge all the youngsters out there to definitely read this book. Why? Because it's high time that you tame your brain rather than allowing someone else to tame the brain as to how they want it to work. And I in fact loved all, all, all the chapters in the book. Like you can see the chapters here. I enjoyed reading all of them. However, there are two chapters which I just loved a bit more than the rest of the chapters and those are first what rejections do to us and the second one is crew pleasing people. What rejections do to us speaks about how much an individual just dwells into desperation when he or she is being rejected and also about the time that you invest in order to think as to why you have been rejected when the person who rejected you probably did not even think more than a minute that he or she is going to reject you. Probably it was just a mood swing. So it's all about that in that particular chapter and I loved it. While the second chapter which I mentioned about is crew pleasing people, it basically reminds you to lead a life which you want rather than leading a life where the society or other people want you to lead. And I thoroughly enjoyed reading this book. Why? Because personally, I was able to relate very well with this particular chapter. In fact, I am a person, even before reading this book, I try to avoid situations where I can please people to do uh, some work. Like, or otherwise, I try to just, you know, do things that I personally want to do rather than doing it for someone else just to please them. And hence, I personally love this chapter a lot. In fact, it was just like, you know, giving me a backup as to, yes, whatever you're doing is right. Because in fact, in real life, I have heard certain people tagging me as selfish for this very same reason because I don't please them. But after reading this book, it was like a friend stating that, you know, you are right, Nivea, go on. So that gave me much more motivation as to just lead the life as to how I want it to be. And in fact, I would want to know from you guys as well. And uh, if you are like me, who just uh, do not like pleasing people, rather just do the way you want it to be. All right, so these are the things which I really liked in this book. However, as I mentioned before, there's one thing which I disliked as well, and that is the excessive usage of cuss words in the book. I understand that this book is written in a spoken format, and hence probably he used these cuss words, but when it is used very frequently, it's just very irritating, especially when I heard this book via Audible, you're hearing it, right? So. When you hear it multiple times, the same cuss words, it just gives you a headache. But having said that, I would still highly recommend this book to everyone because it is very practical and relevant these days. So that's my take on this book. Please do subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And also hit the like button if you like this video. Until we meet next time, this is Nivya signing off. Take care and happy reading. Bye.